Arts is the peer assisted teaching scheme um, and basically it's about academics working together to reinvigorate their units or challenge all aspects of the units and this could be the, the way the course is structured, the types of activities that you give the students, the way the assessment's done, the presentation skills of the lecturer, so there's a number of different aspects that you can challenge in your course. The PATS process works in two stages. The first stage is around the, the partnering of academics. And this is usually done um, either at senior academic level, so heads of schools, ADEs, where they ask for volunteers or they may target particular units because they are changing their strategic direction or there might be some other driver and that other driver might be even low student evaluations. So there needs to be a partnering process and usually the partnering process, there are four um, different types of partnerships. There can be a mentor-mentee partnership, there can be a reciprocal partnership, there can be a mentor with a group of mentees and there can be a group reciprocal partnership. The way the partnerships are formed uh, one, they could be, well, the academics could volunteer either to be a mentor or a mentee. Um, it could be part of a, a program that's in built in the institution or in the faculty. For example, Monash has early career development fellows and the partnering is done through a reciprocal system. Or there could be other drivers, it might be lower unit, low unit evaluations and we partner academics with uh, those academics who uh, have got a reputation as an outstanding once the partnerships are formed, the partners follow a set process. First of all, they have three meetings with their PATS coordinator. So they have a briefing at the start, they have a mid-semester catch-up, and then they have a debrief at the end of the process. The partners work through some tasks. Some of these are done prior to semester starting, looking at setting some educational goals and what evidence they will gather to ensure that they meet their goals and what strategies they will work through to achieve them. They will do two tasks during semester, and that's around gathering some data from the students and a peer review of their teaching with their, with their partner. And then after semester is over, they reflect on whether they have met those goals and really thinking about the sorts of things they can, they can put in their performance development plan. Supporting the process is workshops that will be um, tailored for these academics at the academics institution. Um, and usually there's you know, two or three workshops and they might be around how do you do a peer review, how do you make your lectures more engaging, um, how can you incorporate and harness some of the digital technology that are around. Once the whole process is finished, the partners are acknowledged for their work um, and that depends on the, the policy that the faculty has set in place. It could be through an acknowledgement letter, it could be um, by some financial sort of funding or it could be through time release.